Welcome to Treon's Realm. Today we're going to take a look at the physical version of Mega Man 11 for the Nintendo Switch. Now despite Capcom's relatively poor track record when it comes to physical Mega Man games on the Nintendo Switch, it seems like they actually did a pretty good job when it came to Mega Man 11. Despite being a newer release, the game comes in at a relatively small 2.1 gigabytes. This means that Capcom went and opted for a 4 gigabyte cartridge when releasing it physically. The game retains and brings back that classic Mega Man feel while introducing some actual new concepts that work pretty well. There's a gear system in play that allow you to both speed up and slow down gameplay. Reminds me a lot of Beautiful Joe back on the GameCube. They also went out of their way to make this as newcomer friendly as possible. There are many, many different levels of difficulty. So even if you've never experienced Mega Man before, this is probably one of the best jumping off points that you could possibly experience for the series. Also, if you're an experienced vet and you want the game to be ultra hard, you can adjust it for that as well. I'll be honest, for a long time there, I expected Capcom to just let Mega Man stay buried and never return to the series. But for them to not only come back, but do it in such a great way, I gotta give props. Now interestingly, there is an additional pack of DLC that is 100% free for this game that a lot of people may not know about. If you go into the eShop with the physical version and you go to the listing for Mega Man 11, you will see that there is a DLC pack there. What it does is it gives you access to the Wily Numbers instrumental stage tracks. And what this gives you is eight new tracks for all the different Robot Masters. The music is already really good, but it's actually really cool for them to give you the option to have a more orchestral aspect of the series. Something that hasn't really been done. Now as it stands right now, the game's current version is version 1.0.1. And for additional space, you're going to need 21.2 megabytes on your system, which is really small. But that's all that you will need in addition to the cartridge. Now I have tested it and the game will run without this patch. But seeing as it's so small, there's really no reason not to grab it. I will say that if you're a Mega Man fan in any way, this game should definitely be in your collection. Capcom did a surprisingly stunning job with it and it gives me high hopes for where they may go if they ever do a Mega Man 12. Are you a fan of Mega Man 11 and how they handled it? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, feel free to share your favorite memories of the series. If this video helped you and you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.